Hello, it's Libby from LibbyStamps.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and today I thought I'd just bring you this sort of twisted box. Now I've made it out of the new truly tailored stamp set and the True Gentleman Designer Series paper which will be available in the Occasions catalogue starting the 4th of January. So there's one piece here with glasses and a plaid finish, stripes and bow ties, sort of dotty things and more stripes, herringbone and sort of a diamondy green pattern and I think we've seen them all. Oh no and then there's the spotty one with the stripes. So lovely papers and it coordinates with the tailored tape punch and the truly tailored stamp set. There's also buttons that you can get beautiful uh, Knight of Navy corduroy ribbon which we're not using today. So oh and you can buy the chocolate chip and tranquil tide stamp and write markers as a duo set as well but I've already got them so I didn't need them. Alright so having introduced you to that this will be the first of my videos in this suite and hopefully you'll be able to purchase some of these items for the man in your life either birthday father's day just as a gift and you can do that from my online store and i'll put the link in the bottom in the comment all right so i have a template that all right <laughs> I'm having a good day here today. I have a template that I will leave on my blog. Now it's not to scale so don't worry about that. But it shows you all the scoring and lines that you need and where to cut these little dash things here. They're for cutting. Cut these two bits out and you score on all the other lines. All right and we'll put a tab on this side. We might do some stamping first and I'll just show you how I did this this tag so that it's nice on both sides and I've used the clips from the birthday mini binder clips which I think is from the new picture perfect birthday suite that's also available in the occasions catalogue. So we'll do some stamping and I'll just bring in, I've got Knight of Navy ink that I'm going to use. And on this one I use Today is Your Day Celebrate in Style. So this time it's got some really nice uh, sentiments in here. So we might use this Wishing You a Dapper Day one. And that's if it'll fit in the punch. Let's see. Now I don't put my clear block, um, the stickers on my clear blocks. I leave the sticker sheet just inside the case. Now I do that because that one's going to be too big so I'll choose another one. I do that because often when your blocks get dirty and you're using them a lot you yeah so when you use them when you use your blocks a lot they tend to get a bit dirty and if you don't have them nice and clean the clear mount stamps with the stickers on won't stick. Now there is a trick to that, you can cut around the stickers. So I'll just show you. So here's your sticker. You can cut in close so that you haven't got that little border edge and that will also help but I've just decided not to uh, mount mine on the stickers. So that's a personal preference. It's up to you what you do. All right, so I'm just going to bring in some very vanilla card that I had as a scrap. Ink up my stamp and stamp it down, upside down, just as well. I'm going to use a, a punch. Then I'll just bring in my punch and I'll punch this out. Now a tip that I give my customers is put your punch in where you want it and then slide it down just so it's holding and then punch out. There we go. Perfect. All right. And then 
I punched two of these out which is a great for using up all your scraps and what I'm going to do with my Knight of Navy punch you cut it right up the middle so I've got two pieces then I bring in a bit of liquid adhesive Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue and you don't need a lot she says not being able to get it out I want that one too while we're at it and bring back in your punched out sentiment bit and we're just going to mount it up here yeah, liquid glue is good because it gives you sort of wriggle room see I've just moved that so just want it so it looks sort of even there we go and then just do the other one the same all right that looks about right and then with this one we're just going to put a bit of adhesive on it and and we're just going to match up those ends and there you've got a nice back that you can't see where your join was then I'm going to bring in I think this is a 1 8 of an inch punch and I might punch it down here this time now this has got a tongue on it for a reason you put your card between the punch and the tongue and then your card won't get stuck so I'm just going to punch down and I've lost my muscles and our tag's almost finished now I'll just bring in some very vanilla baker's twine and I'm just going to thread that through there right I'll grab another binder clip from the birthday mini binder clips look at the pretty colours just lovely lemon line twist tranquil tide berry burst and silver and then I just simply opened the clip up and attached it through one of these by just tying a knot tying over hand knot and make up the ends and your tags ready to go for when the box is finished okay so we'll put that to one side now I need to cut a piece of card might use some tranquil tide I think and you can use up one of his straps scraps sorry now this piece needs to be one inch by 14.3 centimeters or half an inch by five and one eighth I think it is so one inch by five and five eighths it is so two centimeters by 14.3 and then you just need to score that at half an inch all right and then just use our bone folder burnish that score line and I'm going to put some tear and tape on both sides now this joins our box together so you don't actually have the normal join but this works really well you need to use a colour that coordinates with the cardstock you're using. So that's why I've used Tranquil Tide. And then that's ready as our tab. Now I'll bring in my trimmer. Now these lines don't need to be very don't need to be very deep. A simply scored would work really well with this. But since I moved, I sort of can't find mine all right we're going to score at so with the 12 inch side up the top we're going to score at three inches or seven and a half centimeters roughly and i'll have all these measurements on my blog three inches six inches or 15.2 centimeters and nine inches or 21 centimeters and then you're going to give it a quarter turn and you're going to score at three quarters of an inch or about two centimeters two and five eighths inches or 6.7 centimeters four and a half centimeters or about 11.5 centimeters and then again at eight and a quarter or 21 centimeters okay now with the tab at the top so the tab is this little three quarter inch bit no actually we're going to turn it round um, so with the tab closest to you this first score line here you're going to measure up two inches two inches two inches two inches two inches now from that point you're going to score up to the second line closest to you 
to make sort of diamonds all right so we'll just do that I'm just going to use my mat and my ruler so these don't need to be very deep I'll be back when I've scored all these so from the two inch mark up to the second line if you want to play make it about a place it'll take creation imagination all right so we've done all that and we can go ahead now and burnish our score lines Alright, now with the tab at the top, here's our tab, we're going to adhere this piece that we put tear and tape on before. So I'm just going to take the backing off and I'll show you where that goes. Alright, so it's going to go from this line here down to this line here. So that from the second score line down to the last score line. And I'm just going to, and you want it to go right along the edge. Alright, like that. Okay, it's then time to come in and do some cutting. So we're going to cut a bit of a wedge out here. So we're going to cut all the way up to the second line, cutting a wedge out. So you only have to cut once on each score line. Okay, and then up the top, we're going to cut out again along the score lines, but you want to get right on them this time. So... So we're going to cut to the second score line again. All right, now, when you look at it, this is our back. This is our sort of side back, if you know what I mean. We're going to, so I've got the tab here and I close it over. We're going to cut out this one and this one. So the one furthest from the tab is going to go so we just need to cut that out there and cut this one out as well all right then i'm going to bring in my envelope punch board and we're going to round some corners if you've got a corner around a punch you could use that too but i like my envelope punch board for this so i'm just popping in the top the ones that i haven't cut out and we'll round those off all right so now before you do before you actually put it together we're going to just fold with our fingers those lines the score lines we made before So now we need to add some tape to our box so we can do the tape up the bottom. Now what I've done here is I've told you which ones to tape. So if we're doing the back, you need to have tape here, here and here. So on three of them. So if you look at your box, when you close this over, that's your back. That's going to go in first, so it doesn't need tape on it. The other three do. All right, now we can start putting our box together. So to the tab that we made first, and we're just going to fold that over till it meets. There we go. And then we can do our base. So I'll just put all this together and be back in a second. 
all right I've moved all the backing now one thing you do want to do before you go ahead and do this and I forgot is turn these to the other side and give them a good burnish all right so just turn it to the other side and give it a good burnish all right so then we can put our box together so the one that doesn't have tape it goes in first got my base adhered and then we can push in these sides and put our tag on our top and I'll talk to you about the sides all right and then where it makes the diamond you're going to push that in and that's how you get the shape so there's our finished box so I'll have photos up on my blog and I'll have the template and all the measurements and thanks for joining me today don't forget you can shop online and I'll leave the link in the bottom visit libbystance.com sign up for my newsletter and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.